Queensland, Australia. 50-year-old Stephen Middleton lives with his wife and daughter in Mermaid Waters, a quiet neighborhood on the ocean. They're my everything, the way I would say it. I'm the protector of the family. Everyone calls me the bear. My neighborhood, it's a beach community, very mellow. There's never any dramas in our neighborhood. All this changes early one morning when Steve's asleep in bed. His security camera records an unknown white car pulling onto a street. A pair of strangers with face coverings approach Steve's neighbor's white truck. Meanwhile, two other men wait at the end of the road. But as one of the intruders rifles through Steve's daughter's car in the garage, inside, an alarm clock wakes him up. I have an early start in the morning, 4.30 fishing trip. So I look out the window, I see torches, I hear a bit of rustling through the cars. It didn't seem right. So I've jumped out of bed, whacked the first bit of underwear that I could find. I'm bolted. I'm out the door. Armed with only a pair of underpants, Steve charges out of the side of the door of the house, and these unsuspecting intruders have no idea what's coming next. So I come around the corner. I don't know what to expect. I see these young fellas. My adrenaline's pumping through the roof. So I jump out. I'm trying to get him down to the ground. I'm holding on to him for dear life. I do not let go of this little guy. Suddenly, the man in the white hoodie comes to help the other intruder, and according to Steve, he is armed. I see a little pocket knife, so I'm using him as a shield to stop him from stabbing me. He got a couple of little ones in. I have to fight back, and I'm, I'm fighting for my life now. Now I know I'm in trouble. Terrifyingly, another man with a white head covering appears, and he is wielding a baseball bat. I'm yelling and screaming, trying my hardest to get the attention of the neighbor, of anyone to come out and just lend a hand. The young fellow managed to squirm, and I ended up with his shirt, and they got away. As the strangers leave, Steve is in a state of shock with two big cuts and multiple bruises. I didn't realize how much I was bashed up. My whole hand was completely covered in blood. My stomach was bleeding. I had no idea. You don't realize what had happened until, until it's happened. And then that's when it all sunk in. Like, how lucky am I? It's very scary. Finally, hearing the ruckus, Steve's wife appears. She impulsively picks up one of the attacker's shoes before the enormity of the ordeal sinks in. My wife comes running out and she's like, what's all this screaming? What's going on? I've had to fight off six young fellas trying to steal all our cars. Later, the police chase the suspected thieves on the freeway, but they only catch one who turns out to be 17 years old. He's in the process of being charged, but Steve has no regrets. I'm protecting my neighborhood. We're honest, honest people, and we do an honest day's work. And, and the last thing we can do is let some little thugs steal our possession. So I'm not standing for that. The police do not recommend that anyone tackle suspected thieves. However, Steve becomes a celebrity in the neighborhood. So now I've been scarred with the name of Captain Underpants. Through this little incident, I have had neighbors, friends, randoms have dropped over cases of beer, bottles of alcohol as a thank you gesture because they believe I've done the right thing. So there's some good that's come out of it, and especially for me anyway. <laughs>